Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon, More Friends of Mineral Town. It's been a while, it's been a while since we got to like, play this. Um, today we're gonna do like, a little special episode featuring like, the TV shows that you can get inside your house, and also the TV that's inside the town cottage. It did take me a while to like, record this, just because um, I did play ahead a bit. I slept for most of it, but I got to year 19. Uh, it's the day before our 10th anniversary with the gourmet. So, what else did I do? Alright, um, yeah. <laughs> I played for like, a little bit. Um, it seems like if I actually play the game, the game rewards me with Van's favorite thing, which I'm trying to get more of so I can sell it. So we can eventually get the shopping master off Van, the last item that we're missing off him. It's probably not, <laughs> we're probably gonna get that in like the very last finale episode. Ugh, whenever that's gonna come out. Alrighty, um, what else? Right. Uh, my kid kind of evolved. It's his speech patterns or her speech patterns. Mama! Woof! Look! Um, <laughs> okay. Mama! Woof! Uh, instead of saying, like, sha da and stuff like that, like, apparently she's learning dog speak. Uh, I guess that's the consequence for letting Scooter raise my daughter. Oh well. Uh, let's get to it. Let's sleep. And celebrate our 10th anniversary with the gourmet. Once the game finally loads. Here it is! Good morning, Devil Dig. Do you remember what today is? It's our anniversary. That's right, I made you a gift. Please accept it. It's delicious. I got her. <laughs> Ah yes, let me just let me just suck on this ring. What do you get me like a ring pop? Ta-da! Cool. Oh, this is nice. It's like kind of a light gold color with a with a red gem. I've n actually never seen this ring because no one ever posts a picture of it. There's like a picture of the first five, but not this one. Uh, okay, so we're missing one more. And we're probably not going to get it until next year. Um, the last ring that we're missing is the Super Walker ring. Which we need to get a hundred million steps on our pedometer. <laughs> I got a million. I like... I, I did the thing where I either taped down my run, run button or I kind of just like changed my control schemes a little bit later. I just went down to this one. And I just kind of put a rubber band around my joystick so I just like run into walls. But yeah, I calculated it out. Um, I just kind of left my controller like that. Overnight. Like sleeping for about 8 hours. I got about 100,000 steps doing that. And I don't know if I calculated it right, but... It would take me... Assuming I never turned off the GameCube, which I'm playing on via the Game Boy Player. Assuming I never turned my GameCube off, it would take me 333 days, point three three repeating, of course, uh, to get a hundred million steps to get this ring. I kind of want to try this, which means the finale of this series isn't gonna come out until the year 2020 or probably the year 2021 realistically because I want to give my GameCube breaks. I'm not leaving it on for an entire year. But yeah, I kind of want to do that. And yeah, it'll be like the finale episode where we just kind of tie up loose ends, get like the final buildings, show off the final ring, get any missing items that we still need to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess I'll worry about that when it comes. Of course, I'm not gonna, like, do nothing in between then. Um, I'm gonna probably do other LPs while my character is running in the background in this game. This is gonna be fun. 
All right. Well, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a bummer. If I was smart, I would probably just get a I would probably just get a game shark and just put the correct amount of steps into my pedometer using cheats. But I'm kind of afraid that uh doing that will uh erase my file <laughs> cuz you know, using game sharks abusing that can can erase your save files. And I don't want to do that cuz I worked hard to marry the gourmet. The best husband. He also says new things as well. Um about like a year after my child grew up. He now says this instead. Pirouette is getting bigger and bigger. I'll teach Pirouette my skills someday. Oh so yeah. Someday Pirouette is going to be gonna be a gourmet master. It's gonna be a master chef. Alright, I think I've uh I yacked enough. How about we start watching the TV? How about I start on Sunday? And then we'll kind of like flip back and forth between our house and the town cottage going through the week seeing our TV seeing all the TV shows cuz I do have I do have the TV changer so we can watch like an entire series within that day of the week without having to sleep through the whole year. All right, I'll BRB and it'll be Sunday. <laughs> okay, Sunday. Good. <laughs> it's good weather tomorrow. I have to I have to save scum the weather cuz if there's a storm, I can't watch TV. Hey, doggy. How about, how about you go off the screen? Because I don't want to see your z z z z z bubbles. Go hang out by the fireplace. Don't get burned. Alright, so on Sundays... <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad this is in English. Um, Thank God this has uh, numbers to it or else I would have a real hard time. How many episodes are in, are in this series? It sucks that I have to keep scrolling down to the negative one. Alright, this is like... 34 episodes. Alright. Uh, this is supposed to say, My dear princess. I don't know why only one word of that is translated. Natsumi, you're fired? Alright, so episode one of My dear princess. My dear princess, episode one. I am the princess of this kingdom. Today it seems to me that things are more lively outside. When I went to see why, crowds cheered our returning hero. His latest adventure had apparently involved going to slay a demon lord in a land north of us. Ah, uh, our hero must be truly mighty to have slain a demon lord. I wish someone as mighty as this hero could be my husband. I need only wed this noble hero to make my wish come true. A hero who slew a demon lord could hardly be unsuitable to anyone. I'm certain I'll be congratulated by one and all. Come to think of it though, and even if I don't, I know nothing about this hero. I haven't even seen his face. Still, there is likely to be a celebration of some sort. Seeing as how we have a hero who has returned from slaying a demon lord, I'll take that opportunity to talk to him, or some such. To be continued, or I can just do this. This, my dear princess, episode two. So I went to the celebration for the hero's triumphant return, and all. My first impression was not so much of that that of a hero, really, but just someone who fights beside the hero. It was a big guy with all these muscles, you see. Anyway, I chatted him up and found that he apparently does hasn't done much talking to the ladies. He turned bright scarlet when I asked him a simple question, barely uttering a solitary syllable in reply. It was actually kind of sweet. I don't think I'd have much trouble marrying him, though I'd like to see for myself just how strong he is and all. There must be something I can do. How about this then? To be continued. <laughs> Not gonna marry some boring dude, some bor boring muscle head. My dear princess. Episode 3. 
I jumped at the sound of a nearby voice. Eh? Who's there? I wondered as I turned towards the softly uttered words. Standing outside the window, what a handsome guy! But the funny thing was that my window was three stories up! But I was more interested in talking to him than figuring out how he got there. Oh, you're so handsome. So I opened the royal window and let him glide into my room. My apologies for speaking to you like this, he said. But you sounded like you were having such fun that I couldn't help myself. But that would mean that I had been thinking aloud. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> If you heard me talk, then you must know the dire and heart-trending predicament that I'm in. Oh, you mean you wish to wed a strong man? And you wish to also see how strong this hero is? Uh, why, yes, that's it. Have you any Valorous-type ideas? To be good- <laughs> Ah, yes! Strange man in my bedroom! But he's handsome, so I'll talk to him. Alright, episode 4. My dear princess. Episode 4. My unusual guest did have a good idea in mind for testing the power of my hero and suitor. But, before we get to that, may I offer myself as a prospective husband too? I'm strong. It's just that. Just what? I'm not human. In fact, I'm the greatest of the demons. Which you might colloquially, colloquially call the Demon Lord. Eh? The Demon Lord? But I thought our hero th slew the Demon Lord, didn't he? Your hero slew an imposter in all likelihood. After all, the Demon Lord stands before you now. But you don't look all that different from any human. I, I mean, you don't have wings or a tail or anything like that. A demon lord ought to be bigger and have a bunch of arms and give off a stinky aura or something, shouldn't he? To be- <laughs> I don't know, according to the pictures here, he, he looks like- he looks like an imp. More like a harvest sprite, I can barely see it because like the stupid plates in the way, but... Alright, next episode. My dear princess, episode 5. It's getting juicy now. The man outside my window told me that he was, in fact, the Demon Lord. This is what I really look like. Well, I suppose I could change my appearance to look the way you suggest. To take on such a fearsome form seems to dem demonstrate a lack of confidence in one's abilities to socially adapt. Besides, I also felt that there was no need to go out of my way to frighten you. So... What you're saying is, you're so tough that you don't have to do that sort of thing. Well then, how can you prove your might to me, Demon Lord? I'll triumph in battle against your hero. Yes, I suppose if you were to do that, you would certainly be mighty. From what I understand, our hero doesn't like to do battle without cause. So I doubt he'd give you a fight simply because you asked for one. In that case, I ask you to let me take you away with me, your highness. To be continued. Oh no, the princess is getting kidnapped. Willingly. This is, this is, this is what happens with Princess Peach. She seems to get kidnapped by Bowser a lot. Alright, episode 6. My dear princess. <clears throat> I wondered what connection there could be between a good idea for getting our hero to show his might and my being abducted by the demon lord. Excuse me? What exactly do you mean by that? Princess, if you were abducted, the king would almost certainly command the hero to bring you back. Of course, if the abduction of the princess by the demon lord does not bring the hero at a run, Royal Commander, no. Then the effort will have been for naught. Wouldn't you agree? I see. You intend to get our hero to come to your lair and fight you to bring you back, bring you back home. 
That would certainly give me the chance to see what you two are like in battle. Okay, it might work. But what should I be doing in the meantime? I mean, if I try to hide here, someone is likely to find me soon. Soon enough, I guess. I have no choice but to come to your remote fortress. To be continued. Okay, princess. This is... <laughs> Let me drink some water. <laughs> Intermission for water. Come here, little princess. I got some candy in my van. Episode 6. Or episode 7, rather. <laughs> Having our hero and the demon lord do battle might really be a sight to see. Well, I suggest you accept, accept it, because the fact is that you will have to come with me. Once we are at my lair, you need not bother doing anything in particular. Aside from waiting for the hero to arrive. Well, that sounds positively boring. Still, I guess there's no other alternative. If I'm going to see you and our hero demonstrate power and might, right? Okay, you have a deal. Then let us be off to my lair. But before we go, would I be an acceptable suitor for your highness's hand in wed wedlock? Oh, come on, of course not. We've only just met, after all. I hardly know anything about you. Though it's true that I only met our righteous hero today, too. Uh, seeing as how it looks like we're going to be sharing a space for a bit, that's how we do as do as dreary lair denizens before you splurge on a ring, okay? <laughs> this is funny dialogue. Alright, episode 8. And so it was that I went to live with the demon lord for a while. I can accept that. After all, when all is said and done, I'll do battle with the hero and show you my might. So, let us not delay further in going to my remote lair. Uh, okay, but, uh, how are we gonna get there? If you will permit me. Without another word, the demon lord grabbed the princess and flew away. Eek! The demon lord just reached out and grabbed me! And since he's grabbing me and leaving me by the window, that means we're flying! Does this mean that we have far to go? I hope I'm not too heavy for him if we're soaring around and all. But then, he couldn't have managed the load. He couldn't- he wouldn't be all that strong. Demon Lord or not, right? Oh wow, we're floating, and it feels... so good. <laughs> Innuendos! Alright, episode 9. My dear princess, episode 9. The demon lord took me in his arms and leapt out the window. Do you always do impossible things this easily? It seems sort of unfair. Well, that's probably because you don't have your own wings and you can't fly under your own power. Hardly what I would call unfair. However, ha, I'm kidding. It's just that it feels good, though. The breeze is cool, and the view of the towns from up here is lovely. But how far is it to your lair from here? Do you just keep going straight on and, until we get there? Yes, it's about ten minutes, as the dragon flies from here. Or if you'd like, I can go a little faster. You can go faster? Then do it, please. This <laughs> is to be continued. Why does the why does the demon lord want a princess anyway? Oh well, maybe we'll find out. Episode ten. I am now on my way to the demon lord's lair. We have arrived, your highness. There is my lair. You mean that's it? From here, at least, it looks like a fairly ordinary place. I would have thought that a demon lord's lair would have been all gloomy and dark and surrounded by fog and weird vines and moss growing all over it and blood dripping all over everything, you know? And you wanted to come here? I would be reluctant to live in such a place. 
I admit, though, that it isn't as clean or nice as it could be, since I live here alone. As he said this, we entered his castle through a second floor window. I wondered whether he always came and went through windows, though. I figured it wasn't really all that big a deal. What really got me thinking was hearing that he lived in that big castle all by himself. It had to be a lonely existence, right? <laughs> when you have like servants, he is the demon lord. What is what is he the lord of? Tissue break. All right, episode eleven. The demon lord had a big enough lair, but he lived there all alone. How sad. That's one more reason why I brought you here. But please, rest yourself. Your quarters are not ready. I'll prepare a suitable room for your highness. While you rest and catch your breath. Alright. You know something? I haven't had dinner yet. And I'm starting to get hungry. What should I do? Come to think of it. Is there anything to eat here? And if there is... Is it anything I could eat? You know, I hadn't even thought about that. I could be in a lot of trouble here, you know? You mean you haven't had dinner either? Then why don't we dine together? I'll cook, but I can't offer anything too spectacular. To be continued. Hang on, I'm probably gonna take another sip of water. Just <laughs> more water! We're at episode 12. Now it seems that the demon lord is making dinner for me. By the way, I eat the same things as humans do, so please worry not about unusual cuisine. I must admit to being a bit curious about what sort of dinner a demon lord would, would make, but since I'm here and all... Why don't you let me cook instead? What do you say, Demon Lord? Oh, but you are my guest, Your Highness. And besides... Huh? Oh, I get it. You don't think that a princess like me would even know how to cook. Well, it might come as a surprise, but I'm really not a bad cook. Hanging around a castle? I don't have much to do with my time other than study, so... I save my free moments for making gourmet candies and such. Is that so? Nobody eats my cooking though, so I don't quite know whether I'm doing it right or not. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Episode 13. My dear princess. I like to come after leaving home. I'm independent, after all. It seems okay when I eat my own meals, so let me do it, please. Just once. I like to have someone else eat my cooking. Even if that someone is a demon lord. <laughs> okay. Very well. Please be my guest. I would be honored to be the first to be able to partake of your cooking, your highness. Yes, I'll get started right away. I just need to make enough for the two of us, right? Uh, yes. Now please let me do something to help. Why don't you set out the utensils? But first, where's your kitchen in this place? Also, I need to know what there is in your ice box or ice cavern. The kitchen is this way. To be continued. <laughs> it has an ice cavern. It's where he stores all his ice. My dear princess, episode 14. The demon lord showed me to his kitchen. Now I'm going to cook something wonderful. Tick, 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 done. Mm, that's very good. Oh, demon lord, it's done. Oh, that smells delicious. It looks good too. Doesn't it though? I think I outdid myself today. I guess cooking for someone else. Even a demon lord. But out the best in me. Whatever the case, I'm ravenous. 
Let's hurry up and get the food over to the table. Allow me to set the table. Snap! Wow, you just snapped your fingers and instantly teleported my meals to the table. That's like Harry Potter. That's great! It's like a magician's trick! Well, I can do magic. To be continued. Episode 15. The demon lord instantly teleported my meals to the dinner table. Why don't we get started? Yes, please eat. Because I'm digging in right now. <laughs> I'll start with the soup, then. <laughs> slurp, slurp. He's eating it! Oh, yes! He's the only person, even if he is a demon lord and all, besides me to ever eat my cooking. Well, what do you think? I hope you like my soup recipe. I hope. I hope. Ah, yes, it's delicious. Oh, good! It has bits of fish and onions and mushrooms all mixed in. It's my own recipe. Now if you like that, try some of this too. Alright then, I'll try these vegetables. Yes, these are good too. Yes! And what do you think of this here? To be cont- <laughs> Yes, in this episode they, they eat soup. They eat soup and salad. The next episode will be the entree. Episode 16. The demon lord ate all my cooking, and he really seemed to like it. That was delicious. Thank you. It seems a shame to think that none of the people in your own castle have ever eaten your cooking, your highness. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. I wasn't really sure if it was any good or not, since no one's ever eaten it before. Now that you eat my cooking, though? I'm feeling much more confident. Just wait and see what I cook up next. Thank you. Now allow me to escort you to where you'll be staying for the next sev several days or so. It's this way. The room you showed me to was completely covered in layers of dust. My apologies. None of the rooms in my lair were cleaned, aside from those that I used myself. To be good to next episode, we're dusting. <laughs> episode 17. The room the demon lord showed me to was completely covered in layers of dust. I intend to clean up this room while you ate, but I was so captivated by your delicious cooking that I completely forgot my responsibilities. If you'll wait, just a few minutes. I'll clean it up for you now. Hey, if I'm gonna stay in this room, I'd just as soon clean it myself. And don't tell me that I can't do it because I'm a princess or something. After all, I already made dinner for us. And seeing as how I'm not in my father's castle right now, I might be much happier being treated like an ordinary girl rather than a princess, you know? I see. Very well then, you can probably arrange your own room to the be to best suit yourself if you clean them yourself. I will leave you to it, but you def <laughs> if you need any heavy lifting done, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, I'll get started on cleaning right away. To be continued. Alright, water break. It has been a while since I recorded something, so my voice is kind of out of practice. Alright, episode 18. I can at least manage to clean my own room, you know. Woo! All done. Oh, demon lord, I finished cleaning up in here. What has become of this room? It's so polished that I can scarcely believe it to be the same room at all. I gave it everything I had. The garbage bag outside the door is full of blackened rags and dusters. Is there any place where I can dispose of them? I'll dispose of them myself. You have surely gotten yourself dirty from all that cleaning. 
Feel free to have a bath. Yes. My, you certainly are considerate, Demon Lord. I feel so icky with all this dust and grit on me. I'll have that bath right away. Dip. <laughs> uh, next episode, the bathing episode. Episode 19. When I finished cleaning my room, the Demon Lord drew a bath for me. Now where is the bath? Oh wait, what about changing my clothes? I didn't bring anything with me. I'll go to your rooms in the King's Castle and pick some suitable things out of your wardrobe while you take your bath. Thank you. I'll just go and have my bath then. Change my clothes when you get back. Splash. <laughs> oh, this feels so great. It's a little smaller than my tub at home, but it's big enough for a single person to fit comfortably. comfortably. And there's a big window. What a beautiful view, too. <sighs> I came to the Demon Lord's castle so quickly. I bet Mom and Dad and the castle staff are probably worried about what's happened to me. Oh, wait. I haven't been gone very long. They probably haven't even noticed. To be continued. The I think other princess isn't worried about the demon lord going through her clothes. So, like, he's gonna, like, probably pick out some dresses. But she's gonna need some undies, too. <laughs> Alright, episode 20. Come to think of it, I wonder if anyone's noticed that I've gone. Well, I certainly don't regret coming here. There's nobody here at all, which makes it quiet enough, and the Demon Lord seems nice enough for a Demon Lord. Not to mention plenty of strong, and not to mention plenty strong. Still, I'll let him show me his true might when our hero appears. For now, I'll just take it easy. I have brought your entire wardrobe, your highness. I will leave them here. Thank you. Well, now that the Demon Lord is back, I probably should get out of the tub. Hmm. Now to brush my teeth and gargle. <laughs> well, that's all done, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. Good night, Demon Lord. To be <laughs> Maybe he's trying to be considerate. It's like, oh no, I, I can't look through her unmentionables. I'll just carry the whole dresser with me. <laughs> and I like how he took... He took everything out of her room. So... Are, are the capsule staff gonna think that they've been robbed? Because like, I don't know, the princess is gone, but like, her room is also completely empty. I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna think. Alright, episode 21. Of My Dear Princess. It was such a busy day that I slept like a log. Twitch blink. <sighs> I really needed that. That's funny. This doesn't feel like my bed. Oh, I remember. I'm staying in the Demon Lord's lair. And the sun is high in the sky. I must have slept in late this morning. If that is any indication. For a place I've never been before, I sure did sleep soundly. I guess I could make myself at home in this magical place. Say, where is my host? I wonder if he's already awake. I think I'll go peek in his room. <laughs> First I'll just get dressed. Well, how do you like that? He, he even brought my entire wardrobe. Okay, now I'm decent. Now off to the Demon Lord's chambers. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Demon Lord. That's funny, there's no answer. Maybe he's still asleep. To be continued. Episode 22. I went to find the demon lord in his chambers, but there was no answer when I knocked. Maybe he's still asleep. Well, that's okay. I'll take this opportunity to make a, to make breakfast. Tick, 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 done. All set. Now to go and wake up the demon lord. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Demon Lord. That's funny, there's no answer. Maybe he's still asleep. 
In that case, I'll just slip and slide. Click. Good morning! Why, the demon lord is sitting in a chair. Hey, is that how you sleep? <laughs> snore, snore. Well, I'll be. He's sleeping alright, but why does he sleep like that? Could it be because his wings get in the way of him lying on his back? No matter. I'll just go wake him up now. It would have been funny if he was just like hanging off the ceiling like a bat. Uh, it would make sense, he's a demon lord. Alright, <laughs> let's take a drink of water. Gotta stay hydrated. Doing so much gabbing. Alright, episode 23. Once breakfast was done, I decided to wake up the demon lord. Russell, Russell, Russell. <laughs> Good morning, demon lord. It's time to wake up. You'd best wake up soon or else breakfast will soon be cold. Huh? Oh, it's you, your highness. Good morning. What brings you here at such an early hour? You're, aw you're awake at last. And it isn't early. The sun is already high in the sky. Anyway, I made breakfast, so I thought you might like to join me. You can't really refuse, because I already made plenty for the two of us. I'd be delighted. Just let me get dressed, and we'll be on our way. Snap! Wow, you just snapped and your you snapped your fingers and your clothes instantly changed. That's amazing! It's like seeing a magician do his tricks. Well, like I said, this is real magic. To be continued. Ah, uh, yes, using powerful magic to just, to get out of inconvenient things. Like, oh, I'm thirsty. Water. Poof. Well, that'd be amazing. Be like a mage, conjuring water. Episode 24. The demon lord really was asleep, but now we're enjoying breakfast. This looks like another delicious meal. Oh, thank you. Ever so much, Demon Lord. And without further ado, let us eat. Oh, yes, you eat up and s eat up, so will I. I think I'll start with the toast. Hmm? All of a sudden, the Demon Lord froze and glanced out the window. There was something strange, and I hoped it was not my cooking. Perhaps he didn't like the whole grain bread I made as toast. Oh, darn that whole grain. It would appear that we will not have the luxury of eating breakfast at our leisure. He is here, so we must finish quickly. Oh, finally! Get into the fighting! Get into the action portion, episode 25! We just sat down to eat breakfast when the demon lord started acting strangely. But eating quickly isn't the same as not eating at all. His actions were not on account of a dislike for bread. And what did he mean by saying he's here? He couldn't be talking about our hero. It's still too soon for him to be here, isn't it? The hero is here now, you, s you see, when I went to get your clothes. Last night, I also left behind a map of uh, left behind a map in your chamber showing the way here, which would explain how we arrived so quickly, even on foot. It, it is only half a day's journey here from your father's royal castle. So, if you were discovered missing last night, and the king wasted no time ordering the hero to rescue you, I imagined he would be here at about this time. Well, yes, that would explain it. If our hero has arrived, then I guess we had better hurry up and finish eating our breakfast. To be <laughs> Let's just skip that portion of the show. We don't need this to show like the hero trekking on over here. Just like speed things along. Alright, episode 26. At last, our hero arrived at the Demon Lord's lair. But what should I do? If our hero is already at the gates of the lair, 
Then I hardly have time to sit around and wash the dishes, do I? I mean, you and our hero are going to battle and I need to see it. To do that, I need a clear vantage point from which I can view the action. But if our hero finds me right away, then there won't be any need for you and him to do battle. I guess I need to remain concealed someplace where our hero won't spot me. When you have finished your breakfast, your highness, come with me and I will make the necessary preparations. Wait a second. What kind of preparations are we talking about here? If he wants me to go with him, then I guess it must be so I can watch him do battle with our hero. Is this a trick? To be continued. <laughs> Spider though. A flyer somewhere? Give her a bird's eye view? Episode 27. We'll find out right now. What sort of preparations do we need to make for the battle between our hero and the demon lord, anyway? We went to a fairly large room that opened onto a stairwell. Here, it seemed, where the demon lord intended to fight our hero. The demon lord told me that all I had to do was sit in a chair at the top of the stairs. So I did as I was told and quickly realized that I could see the room below just fine. This would probably be alright for watching the battle between the demon lord and our hero. There was also a little danger that our hero would simply take me away from here, even if he did spot me because the demon lord was standing at my side. It was perfect. I even had time to wonder why the demon lord was holding a glass of mixed fruit juice I made with him. <laughs> Breakfast that morning. I remember that he drunk that he drunk all that I made leaving nothing behind, and I could see that the fruit juice in his cup was fresh too. As these thoughts were running through my head, our hero arrived. To be good I'm sorry, it was like a weird it was weird just like picturing that in my head, just like the princess in a chair. And just like the demon lord just has like a glass of wine or something. <laughs> Trying to be all like suave and stuff. Alright, episode 28. Our hero was by now standing at the lair gates. With a loud thump on the gates, quickly swung open and our hero strode into the room. At last, I found you, demon lord! Let her highness the princess go! Oh wait, there you are, your highness! You need to have no more fear now that I have found you! It was good of you to come all, all this way, hero. I imagine you must be tired. Drink this with my compliments. Oh, this is a demon lord talking. <laughs> The demon lord held out the glass of juice that I made that morning. Now I get it. I realized our hero had been marching non-stop since the day before to get here. And the demon lord brought the juice with him. So I was to offer him some refreshment upon his arrival. That'd be an awfully sweet thing for a demon lord to do. Or could it be that he felt defeating our hero while the latter was still exhausted would not be a true proof of his true might? Come to think of it, our hero didn't sound as shy as he did before. It was all fascinating. Did the prospect of battle bring out a different side of him? Of his personality? To be continued. <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't take the fruit juice, so like, it's probably poisoned. That's probably what the hero's thinking. I don't know, maybe he's gonna drink it in the next episode. And they're all gonna have a fabulous tea party. I wonder if our hero will actually drink the juice that I made. I don't know what you're up to, but a knight would never drink anything offered by a demon lord. That's so mean of you. Especially after I went through all the trouble to make this juice. Don't bother giving it to our hero, demon lord. I'll drink it myself. What's that you say? You prepared this juice, your highness? You went to all that trouble for me? Even so, the demon lord may have as well put something in it himself. Well, I didn't exactly make it with you in mind, noble hero. 
And besides, the demon lord isn't the kind of person, even if he is a demon, <laughs> that would stoop to such tricks. Or so I suspect, anyway. I mean it. You really don't have to give it to him. I'll gladly drink it to the last drop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why does the demon lord be like, mm, it's actually poison, don't drink it. Episode 30. I mixed it for the demon lord after all, so there's no reason for our hero to drink the fruit juice. Your highness has spoken. What will you do, hero? I... I accept. Glug glug. My thanks to you, your highness. That was, that was most delicious. Already I feel replenished and I, and I shall promptly dispose of this evil demon lord and return you to the castle and your father, our, our king. This will be all over and done with. With a few short blade strokes. Okay, I can accept that. Now that you're no longer fatigued, this contest will be a fair one. I'll sit right here and observe the battle between the two of you men. Though I keep forgetting that the demon lord isn't a man at all. Then let us commence with the battle, shall we? Very well. To be continued. Oh my goodness, we're getting to the climax. Episode 31, let's take a drink of water. Alright, let's watch. My dear princess. Episode 31. The battle between the demon lord and our hero rang through the hall. Hmm. However you slice it, the demon lord seems to have an edge. I mean, our hero is no slouch, but the demon lord seems to be better at everything. Our hero's shoulders are heaving and yet the demon lord hardly seems winded. I think I can guess how this is how this will turn out. Grr, the demon lord of the northern lands was nothing compared to you. I had no idea you would prove so capable. You are truly deserving of the title of hero. But our battle is now over. Let it end here, demon lord. The outcome is decided. Let us let the hero leave us unharmed. No wait. This will never do. If I do not return with him, the king and queen, my mother and father, would never sit still for it. To be continued. Episode 32. My dear princess. There has to be some way of persuading my parents to accept my decision to remain here. Wait, I think I've got it. How about we do this? First, I write my will, <laughs> in case I die, and then I take off my shoes. And now, if you will let me have that blade of yours for a moment, hero, I'll cut off my hair. There. Now if you'd be so kind as to give these things to my father, the king. I tried to make our, our hero take my shoes, hair, and the will that I just scribbled down. All I got in return was a tired and blank, uncomprehending stare. <laughs> Which only makes sense, seeing as how I hadn't bothered to explain the situation to him, so... <laughs> so I stopped and told him the way things were, explaining that I was resolved to living with the demon lord in his lair. So... That's what this is all about. If that be your wish, your highness... To be continued... <laughs> I would have been mad, I'm like, really? You hear me do all this work? For nothing. Oh, goyles. Goyles, goyles, and their whimsies. Episode 33. Hero, I'm resolved to live with the demon lord in his charming and ma magical lair. Thank you for your understanding, hero. It's nothing. It seems I am no match for the demon lord at present. So it's only right for me to withdraw from the field in honor. So you realize that the time to part has come. In that case, allow me to give you a token of my esteem by healing your wounds. Snap! Wow, just with a snap of his fingers, the demon lord made the wounds of our heroes suffer, suffered in their battle go away. 
It's like a magician's trick. Amazing. I keep telling you, it's real magic. Hey, my wounds are sealing themselves. Thank you. And with that, I'll take my leave. Oh, by the way. To be continued. Oh, the last episode, right? This is the last episode, yep. Ah, uh, here comes the finale. Hang on, gotta like, blow my nose a bit. My dear princess, episode 34. When you return, there are likely to be those who will wonder what became of the prin- Oh, oh this, is, this is the hero talking. What became of the demon lord? So feel free to say that you s oh slew me. Oh, wait, never mind. Demon Lord's saying this. Are you sure? You're so much mightier than I, which makes it most unlikely. I didn't want not want the infinite Blech, can't speak of an evil beast. What I wanted is the love of this good princess. Very well, and I hope the two of you will be happy together. <laughs> Thank you, and take care, hero. Goodbye. Now there is no one to come between us, is there, Demon Lord? There is still much that I do not know about you, which I hope will take that you will take the time to explain. And I also have much to tell you about myself as well. Now that the two of us people, even though yes, I know that you are not a person, are going to be living together, I want you to tell me all there is to know about you. The end. Well, okay, just that easy. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna get married and have and have his demon babies. And I wonder why he want. I really wonder why he wanted a princess. I, I don't know. You'd think like as a demon lord, he would want to wed another demon and have like super powerful demon babies. Oh, yeah, this is like how they look. Little pictures. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, wow, we've been mean, Gavin for so long, but we've only done one show? It took me that long? Oh, let's see if we can squeeze out another show, though. Let's go to the town cottage. I don't think this one is as fun as the show that we just watched. Let's see, on Sundays in the town cottage, um, you get a different show. <laughs> Really? On Sunday you get card captured Chisato? Oh man, this is gonna be a long one. I thought you'd get a different show. At least this one's in English. Hang on, let me double check. No, it's not card captured Chisato. It's supposed to be the mind research group. Uh, I guess. Is this like a glitch, maybe? Maybe it's not translated right? <laughs> well. I had the full intention of just using of just using the TV changer to watch all this. Alright, there's only 13 episodes of this, so it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, for Card Capture Chisato is supposed to happen on Thursdays, so I guess Oh well I guess we can watch it now. Or let me at least see if it's actually card ca card collector Chisato. I said card captures, because this is what it's based off of. <laughs> Oh, it is actually the mind research. Thank you, Natsumi, for this awesome translation. Good day, my name is Karen, and I am a geologist. Today I'll tell you some facts and rumors that I know regarding mines. Up to now, we've assumed that digging up the ground at the mine by the spring would only unearth gold or black grass. Recently, however, the idea that other things may be found there has found favor with many. One such item is the power berry, about which pre the presence of, I may claim, with 100% certainty based on my own research, it can be found as far down as level 100 underground. Another is the mystery slab. Well, it is true that it can be found in places we do not know exactly where it is located, perhaps due to it being buried deep underground. We'll inform you as soon as we have more information regarding this object. That's all for this week. Alright, so I guess Natsumi kind of screwed up on this translation. This is the mind research group on Sundays. I thought maybe they, they flip things around. Alright, so yeah, this, this is not as fun as like that TV show that we just watched, but it's like interesting information. If 
if you didn't have the internet, I guess this is like the only way you'd figure out where like those secret things in the mines were, like the power barriers. <laughs> or that or that slab. I I guess that slab, that mysterious slab is supposed to be that recipe for french fries that we found at the bottom of the mine. Ah yes, so mysterious. Alright, well this should be a short one, so shouldn't shouldn't be too taxing on me. I'm gonna drink some more water though. Episode 2 of Not Card Collector Chisato. Mine research group. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking like my TV guy's broken. Good day, my name is Karen and I'm a geologist. Today I will tell you some facts and rumors that I know regarding the mines. What will I teach us today, Karen? It is known that the following things are comparatively common finds when one breaks rocks at the mine of the spring. Junk ore, copper, silver, gold, and mistral, or a calc and adamantite. Two more unusual objects known to be found there are the teleport stone and the goddess jewel. As to where the, in the mines they can be found, well, it appears that our time is up for today. So, so I'll take, I'll talk more on the subject next time. That's all for this for now. You won't tell us the floors that they're found on. You must go to Fogu to figure that out or figure it out in the previous episodes that we did. All right, episode three. Mine research group. Good day, my name is Karen, and I am a geologist. Today I will tell you some facts and rumors that I know regarding the mines. We learned that among the things to be found by breaking rocks at the mine of the spring are the teleport stone and the goddess jewel. We believe that the former is probably found on the lowest level of the mine, while the latter is scattered here and there. And thus, we do not know all the places where it may be found. We only we only know that that of two of such locations at this time, the 102nd and 222nd levels of the mines. I'll provide more information on this subject later. That's all for this week. All right, I guess that's how you'd figure it out. Instead instead of by like trial and error, you would watch this show after forking over tons of money, and you'd figure out where all those items are in the mines. Alright, let's watch the next episode. Episode 4. Good day, my name is Karen and I'm a geologist. Today I will tell you some of the facts and rumors that I know regarding the mines. Like the mines of the spring, we found that the power berries can also be found by digging at the mine of the lake. My research shows that they can be found on the 19th level of the mine. Not, not as hard to get to. <laughs> Also, there has been rumors in some quarters about the cursed tools. We now know that such tools were found at the mine of the lake, including the cursed hoe, which we are told was found on the 39th level of the mine. More on this story as we dig up information. That's all for this week. Wait, these are the power bay was on the 19th floor? Wait, is that? Let me double check something. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, we found it on the 19th floor. The, the fishing rod is on on 29, and then and then we kept finding finding more cursed tools 10 floors after that. All right, floor nine is uh, the fishy level. All right, episode five. Good day. My name is Karen, and I am a geologist. Today, I will tell you some facts and rumors that I know regarding the mines. The following ores can be found by breaking rocks at the mine of the lake. Amethyst, agate, fluorite, peridot, topaz, ruby, sandrose, moonstone, emerald, and diamond. Of these, the last two are comparatively unusual, while the others can be found more easily. There are other unusual things to be found in this mine, but it seems that we have run out of time, so we will continue this discussion on our next show. Until then, that's all for this week. Man, it must be hard to, like, to make episodes on this... TV because apparently you only have like a, a few seconds to talk before before your time's up. All right. Oops. That's not what I want. Uh, we want to go up a level. Just 
episode 6. Good day, my name is Karen and I'm a geologist. Today I will tell you some of the facts and rumors I know regarding the mines. Unusual ores found by breaking rocks at the mine by the lake include alexandrite and pink diamond. We have reports of alexandrite found on the 50th, 100th, 150th level of the mine, though it may be unearthed on other levels as well. As for pink diamonds, we know that they have been found on the 30th, 110th, and 190th levels of the mines. Although they may also be found on other levels as well, we will report further on this subject as information becomes available. That's all for this week. Tune in next time. Alright, next time. Mine Research Group. Good day, my name is Karen. Today I will tell you blah 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 blah. <laughs> there have been rumors in some corners of Cursed Tools. We received word that another such item was found at the mine by the lake. The item in question is the Cursed Watering Can, and it was found on the 69th level of the mine. We also have information on unusual things that can be found by breaking rocks at the mine by the lake, including the Kappa Jewel. It was located on the 120th level of the mine by the lake. We do not have any more details at this time, but we will let you know just as soon as we do. That's all for this week. Tune in next time. Next time. Later, lately, the big rumor circulating is that charging your hoe or your hammer in the mines, you'll find more items. This is not true, so do not squander your energy in this futile undertaking. Next, we have a report of Alexandrite found on the 210th level of the mine of the lake. If anyone else out there has news in this regard, please let us know. And that is all for this week. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of sucks that you can't charge up your tool in the mine. You just have to go by one square at a time. That's probably because, um, yeah, items don't really stack in this game, so you can only really pick up one thing at a time, or else you'd probably break the game. Alright, episode 9. Blah blah blah, my name is Karen. Lately, a rumor persists about the mines extending as far as the 255th level. While we are doing our best to find an answer to this claim, we have only been down as far as the 254th level of a few level a few times, and we cannot say for certain we have not found a stairway down to the 250th level. 55th level. It would not surprise us to learn that this is the lowest level after all. We also have an additional news about the discovery of the Kappa Jewel in the Lake Mine. It was unearthed on level 60. If you dig up any other information, please let us know. That's all for this week. Uh, I, well, they, how unlucky. They, they didn't do the same scum trick, I guess. Where you save on two separate files. I guess they, they found a floor. They found a floor without a staircase. That sucks for them. Episode 10. Mine Research Group. My name is Karen. Lately, we heard rumors that it is possible to go to the lake mine in other seasons besides winter. The short answer is that it is indeed possible and easy to do. All you have to do is ready a teleport and set the lake mine as your destination. Well, this might sound simple, acquiring a teleport blah is considered quite difficult. I've used it myself to go to the mine by the lake in seasons other than winter and did not see any particular difference. I will report again on the subject as further information becomes available. That's all for this week. Alright, 11. Words, word comes us today of the discovery of the Goddess Jewel on the 152nd level of the Mind of the Spring. We have another report of the Goddess Jewel found in that mine, this time on the 190th level. Next, we have a word of the Cursed Sickle being found in the mines by the lake on the 79th level. This concludes today's report. Please let us know if you dig up any more important information for us. That's all for this week. Alright, almost done with this. Mine Research Group. Good day, my name is Karen and I am a geologist. Today I will tell you some of the facts and rumors that I know regarding the mines. Lately we heard about sewing seals and tilts- wait, hang on, I got- <laughs> I kinda like mash, mashed A through that. 
Lately, we have heard about sowing seeds in tilled mine soil after it is freshly turned will cause seasonal plants to grow. This is completely untrue. So do not waste your seeds in this fruitless endeavor. This isn't Rune Factory. Next, we have news of a pink diamond found on the 90th level of the mines of the lake. That gem concludes today's report. If you dig up more information, please let us know. That is it for this week. Alright, last episode? Yep, last episode. Watch the TV. Alright, Karen. This is your season finale of your info infomercial show. The other day, I noticed something amazing on the 222nd level of the mine by the spring. I found a mythic stone, an ore that I've never seen anywhere except in textbooks. I found it while breaking rocks. But I'm still conducting <laughs> reeking rocks. I'm still conducting additional research. If any of you dig up any information about the mythic stone or anything, please let us know. Thank you. That's all for this week. Alright, that's it. Yeah, that's a kind of repeats, right? Yeah, that's it. Just double checking. Maybe it like kind of loops around and like, but like actually doesn't. It just keeps counting up. You just can't read it. All right. My throat is getting kind of ticklish from all this talking. We've been gone for a while. Wow. Um. Hopefully we can get through the rest of the TV shows faster in the next episode. Oh, I might as well go home. Go home to sleep with my child. Yeah, so hopefully the next episode, yeah, the other TV shows should go a little bit quicker. Not all of them are going to be as long as My Dear Princess. That was kind of like a special one. Whoops. No, I want to sleep. I want to sleep and make sure the weather is good for tomorrow. No, stop pressing B, you fool. But yeah, this is a lot. There's a lot of shows. Like for Monday that we have like the fishing hour and Fairy and Me, and then Tuesdays we have <laughs> we have dueling chefs again on Tuesday. I know we kind of already watched that, but I don't know. I'll 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 say it again in the next episode. And if you don't want to watch it again, you can skip it. And yeah, there's also another Fairy and Me on Tuesday. On Wednesdays you got Aaron changes and ooh. Wednesdays on the town cottage is actually pretty cool. You get like mineral town character profiles as told by the goddess. Thursdays will have Star Lily Bandit Girl. Oh, that's probably gonna be a long one. And then on Thursdays in the town cottage, we have the real card capture Chisato. Or card collector. I keep saying it card captures. <laughs> card captures a something adventure. On Fridays, we got to Megabot Ultror. Kind of a, a popular name we see him thrown around here and there. I know Stu mentioned it when we gave him something on his birthday. And then on Fridays in Town Cottage, we got to Megabot Ultror Zero. I guess it's like a sort of a prequel or like a special episode series on Megabot. And on Saturdays. Um, you'd usually get uh, TV shopping, but since we bought everything from the TV shopping already, we'll get St. Emerald's Academy instead. So it's another TV show. And on Saturdays in Town Cottage, it actually isn't a TV show. Um, instead you play a mini game with the Harvest Goddess. There'll be a rock, paper, scissors mini game with the goddess. Which, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna win the big prizes. But I'll just show off like a game, because like she only lets you play once <laughs> once that week. Alright, anywho, I checked the weather, right? Yeah, it's sunny tomorrow. I'm getting tired, I'm getting hot. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can do the next episode, record it fairly soon. It's been rather exhausting lately. Um yeah, I have it took me a while to get this episode out, because like I was playing kinda like off screen. Trying to get to like future years, but I've also been like super busy at work, so I've been like picking up extra shifts because like they're short on people, and it's great because like I get more money. But then I'm also like very tired, and like sometimes I don't feel like doing an episode. So like either, either I'm, uh, I'm like busy, tired, or I'm not alone and I can't record. 
So hopefully I find some more time, because, yeah, I do want to finish this up, or finish up as much as we can, so I can actually get to doing another LP uh, fairly soon. Anywho, I hope you guys had a relaxing time today, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, bye-bye.